When you receive your AED+, remove the contents from the box. It will include the AED Plus unit with its lid, a soft pack carry case and a documentation pack. You will also find a box containing the electrode pads and a set of batteries. To power the AED Plus, you will need to install 10 consumer type 123A batteries. Refer to the administrator's guide for a list of approved battery manufacturers. To remove the battery cover, use a coin to push in the two slots of the battery compartment door. Then lever the door open. Insert the batteries, making sure they are securely seated and properly oriented. After installing the new batteries, the AED Plus will prompt you to press the battery reset button. If new batteries, press button. This is located in the battery compartment and must be pressed within 15 seconds. Once the reset button is pressed, the AED Plus will immediately request that you plug in the electrode pad cable. Plug in cable. Before you do this, replace the battery compartment cover. Begin by removing the lid from the AED Plus. Check the expiration date of the pads, which is shown on the tab sticking out of the box and on the side of the box. Make certain that this date has not passed. Break the seal of the box and gently remove the entire package. Sit the package onto the face of the AED Plus and connect the green electrode plug into the socket. Ensure that the plug is seated firmly. Before replacing the lid, you can write emergency contact information on the tab, which slides out from the underside of the lid. Now put the lid containing the CPRD package onto the main unit, anchoring it at the rear. Thread the expiration tab through the slot in the lid, so it fits through completely, and snap the lid into place. The process for installing paediatric pads is exactly the same. Zoll recommends, however, that you only pre-connect CPRD pads, as an adult emergency is much more likely than a paediatric one, even in places where many children are present. Next, affix the labels for the on-off button and lift to open. The label sheets can be found in the documentation pack. Finally, tape down the expiration date tab. Separate and tear off the plastic backing on the tab, then secure the tab like a piece of tape. Perform a manual self-test by holding down the on-off button for about 5 seconds. When you hear a click, let go of the button to start the test. The status indicator on the front of the AED Plus shows whether or not the unit is ready for use. A green tick indicates that the unit has passed the self-test and is ready to use. You can carry out manual self-tests at any time, although the AED Plus will also make regular automatic self-tests. You should inspect your AED Plus regularly, checking that the expiration date of the pads is at least 60 days away and that the status indicator shows a green tick. If a red X is indicated, the unit is not ready to use and may be defective. If this occurs, remove the AED Plus from service and consult the troubleshooting section of the administrator's guide. If your AED Plus is not kept in a cabinet or on a wall bracket, or if you travel with it, you may wish to keep it in the soft pack carry case. Zip open the cover and place the AED Plus into the top pocket. Zip the cover closed and snap the two-handle retaining straps closed to secure. The carry case pocket can be used to store additional pads. In this case, keep the expiration tab exposed and secure the pads in place with the Velcro straps. You can operate the AED Plus without having to remove it from the carry case. Simply unzip the front and it is ready to go.